Hello and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today I'm not going to be giving a practical demonstration of anything. And in fact, I'm going to be reviewing uh, and going over a document on Salesforce, developers.salesforce.com, um, because it's something that I think not a lot of people are aware of, but I really should be aware of when it comes to creating Apex classes and design patterns. So let's head over to developer.salesforce.com and have a look what I'm talking about. So looking at developer.salesforce.com slash wiki apex design patterns, we can see that this was actually created um, in 2013, but it's still a very relevant and very useful documentation to look at. So here are some design patterns that are really useful once you get start digging into them and um, understanding what they're about. And I'm only going to go over a few, but I implore you to come and have a look at this documentation and see how you can make your code more efficient uh, and better all around. So you can see there are six different patterns here. I'm going to go over the th top three. So we get a an overview here of the different patterns and the differences between them. And the first one we've got here is a singleton. So the singleton is utilizing the one-time instantiation of a class and or method. And what we can see here is that this trigger, every time it enters this for loop, um, it calls this, um, this piece of code each time. And that's not efficient. We can see that every time this, this class, this method gets called and this piece of code is run. Now, the singleton um, methodology pattern involves us checking if the instance has been created first and foremost, and then we set the string in this case the first time. Every time then thereafter this method um, and this class method gets called, instead of creating an instance of it, we're using the first time the instance was called. So it's a really cool way of working around that multiple instantiation of a of an object. If we scroll on, we can see the next one is the strategy pattern, often known as the policy pattern. And what we have got here is utilizing interfaces um, so that we create it once and we implement it thereafter. Uh, that's a common pattern that a lot of developers know, but one to keep in mind, and one I personally haven't seen used enough within Salesforce. And then the next one and the last one I'm going to go over is the decorator. This decorator pattern, um, as it says, they're typically used in Visual Force, um, and it's largely because of it using getters and setters to set those um, properties for when it's displayed on the Visual Force page and to make sure that only in certain occasions particular variables and properties can be set and it manipulates them when you get them to display the correct um, information to the user. There are a bunch of others so we've got the implementation, the facade uh, and the composite. Now I definitely suggest looking through these. I will provide the URL in the comments in the description below. Thank you very much for taking your time and listening to this uh, video. I really hope that this helps you improve your efficiency of your Apex code and any other code that you write. Um, hopefully it's beneficial and until next time, thank you very much. <laughs>